Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, so for this morning's shoot uh, I've come out to Southwold on the Suffolk coast and specifically to shoot Southwold Pier and for those that, that know the area will know that Southwold is, is a lovely place to come and visit and the pier itself is, is really sort of picturesque and to photograph as well um, it's an amazing place. Um, Surprisingly, I've only ever been here once before um, to shoot this pier um, and that was at sunrise as well. So although I was happy with the, the photos I got then, um, I'm always sort of looking to improve on that and hopefully this morning uh, get some better compositions and uh, better conditions um, to come away with. Um, so I'm going to set up the camera now and um, have a look and, and see what I can find. So the good thing about uh, Southwold Pier is there are lots of different angles that you can shoot it from uh, and you can get lots of different interesting uh, compositions. Um, the one I've had an eye on this morning is, is to sort of get these rocks on the left hand side in the frame uh, and the pier on the right um, and then get sort of crashing waves in the frame um, just to add a little bit of you know, dynamism and just add that little bit of interest really. Um, unfortunately, the clouds aren't really working in, in my favour uh, for this composition. Um, you know, yeah, above me, um, there's very little clouds. Um, and yeah, I can see on the horizon as well that potentially you might get the sun blocked out by, by those clouds. So um, yeah, just gonna, gonna wait around and, and see what, what happens. Um, I have got the drone with me as well today, so um, I was quite looking forward to, to getting that up and see if I can get some, some different angles that, uh, that might work. So, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. Is, is kind of kicking off at the moment so I'm just sort of uh, just frantically kind of rushing around trying to find a, a composition um, that works with how the clouds are looking at the moment um, so I'm just going to head over to the other side of the pier and see what I can find um, but yeah some lovely clouds um, coming out at the moment uh, so I think I found um, quite a nice composition that, that works with the conditions at the moment um, so if I show you on the back of the camera, um, so I've got the pier sort of coming in from the left hand side of the frame um, and then sort of really trying to ex uh, sort of experiment with um, some different shutter speeds just to see what, um, what kind of motion I can get um, with the waves kind of crashing in. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's kind of nice. Um, unfortunately, it's not really sort of working with my original composition, but as the clouds move over, um, I might sort of go back to that, to that original um, spot I had. Getting some beautiful colour in the sky at the moment. Um, and I'm just experimenting with some different different shutter speeds and different height of the heights of the tripod um, but it's absolutely awesome awesome conditions this morning
so I've just been up with the drone, taking some aerial shots, and uh, yeah, what a what a wonderful morning! It's um, yeah, had had everything. It had the sort of sun rays, it had the, the great the great light, the great clouds. Um, it was just just an awesome awesome morning, I think. Um, it was it was a bit frantic, um, you know, just as I was getting the drone up. Um, the light really sort of started to, to kick off, and I was trying to trying trying to multitask as as best as I could. But uh, I'm not sure I I kind of captured the the best of the, the conditions. Um, but I think I got a uh, a good mix of, of compositions that should should work out. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna uh, leave the drone up for a little bit and carry on shooting because yeah, the conditions are still still really really good. I think the best of the light is, is probably over for this morning and yeah it was definitely worth getting up um, really early this morning but I think when the conditions are like this it, it's always going to be a bit frantic um, I think especially because you know with Southwold Pier um, there are lots of different compositions and lots of different angles that, that you can shoot and sometimes that that kind of works for you and sometimes that that works against you. Uh, I think in this case, it was almost like there was there was too much choice, and and particularly because of the wind this morning, the the clouds and the conditions were changing so so quickly that um, it was really hard to to capture um, you know a good composition in in the best light. I think as well, you know, any time you have waves, you're often battling against uh, you know trying different shutter speeds and. You know, making sure your your tripod is is kind of stable. Um, you know, and all those factors this morning, it's sort of uh, yeah, it was a bit of a frantic one. But um, yeah, I'm pleased I'm got up, got up, and pleased I'm out and about. Um, you know, capturing capturing these moments and capturing these images. Um, and yeah, it was just just a beautiful morning, and um, really hope that you enjoy the images. Well, just as I was about to pack away, um, the sun has just started to come out. And um, yeah, although not necessarily in golden hour at the moment, um, it's still lovely um, for the sun to get out and um, has allowed me to, to get the shot I was sort of looking for. Um, but as, as is always the case, you know, that you arrive at a location, the conditions change and you just kind of go with the flow really. But absolutely magical morning, I'd say. Yeah, it was a kind of multitasking exercise this morning. Um, it's probably the first time that I've, you know, been recording a video uh, taking photos um, and also flying the drones. So um, yeah, it was it was probably good good practice for you know later in the year when when I go um, on holiday, um, where I probably will be doing that even more. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you know definitely learn a few things and a few tips this morning in terms of how to sort of better manage that that sort of. Uh, yeah, all those different factors. Um, probably in hindsight should have um, got the drone up in the air, in the air a little bit earlier, um, you know, and, and just sort of have it hovering almost um, while I take some images with, with, the, with the camera. Um, and then I think that would allow me to have a bit more um, thinking time and breathing space. Um, but yeah, it just, just went by so quickly this morning.
So that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I certainly enjoyed shooting these conditions. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.